This is How To Play Shape Of You, obviously one of the biggest tracks of the last few years. And of course on this Andy Piano YouTube channel, I'm right on trend and this is 18 months since it was released. <laughs> Apologies this took so long, but I know what you're thinking. Andy, that sounded great, but I don't have a piano and, and I don't have anything to play this on. Well, we have a lot of options because you can even play something like this on an iPad or any Android device by downloading some little keyboard to play it on. I have GarageBand here, that's one of my favourites. And then we have this screen here where we can also play. We can even play the melody there and what you're looking for is anything that is going to give you the sound of a marimba. This little percussion instrument here. Um, I'm using this keyboard hooked up to GarageBand on my computer. So we can get this sound of the recording. I'm doing that with a MIDI lead, so MIDI out into my computer, and that is how I'm getting the sound of a marimba, but of course that should come on uh, most keyboards already plugged into that sound. And the note we're needing to find, and just focusing on the right hand first of all, is a C sharp. So this is middle C. This is right in the middle of your keyboard or piano, and that is the f that is our sort of location note. If we can't find that, we can't work out what we're doing. This is C sharp because it's just above it, and then we're looking for this note here, which is the octave of that. So please find that note on your piano or keyboard or whatever iPad or Android device you're using, an app you may use to play this. Let's find it there. Um, and we want to put our middle finger on that. Eve, I mean, you could do all of this with one finger, but let's try and have some crossover skill to uh, being able to play everything a little bit better and use our middle finger. The next note is the E note, which is just above um, where we are there. And we've got this black key here, and that's the next note. So you could even just kind of do this, you know, chopstick style. And that's a lot of fun as well. But if we do that, if we use both our hands, we won't be able to use the other hand to play the, the other part to it. Just focusing on this hand for a second. We have that recognizable rhythm. Bum, ba, bum, bum, ba, bum. Essentially three notes. One, two, three. And then just repeat that. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And this song really has been played so much over the last 18 months. I'm sure you all can be able to play that rhythm just with a little bit of practice. You might have to pause the video. But that's what we want. And then we have actually two endings to this. The first one, which starts the song, is uh, E flat. Well, let's think of them as sharps, actually. D sharp. C sharp, and then the B note. So that would be in total three, four. Okay, even if you're doing that on an iPad or on your phone, that is going to sound a lot like Shape of You already. Now there is that slight variation where we have, and it's, it's not regular, it's quite an irregular time when it goes to it. So just listen out on the recording back and sometimes that is the ending and sometimes that is the ending. And to start the song, it is very much that one, that's the one to focus on, but in the verses, We do have that one as well. Yeah! Okay, what's going on with the left hand? We started off here with the right hand, and it's that one that we're needing in the left hand to start with. And then it'd be best if we put our thumb on that one, actually, if, if possible. You could put your first finger on it, but we need to play that C sharp note, and then an F sharp note, which is here, the lowest note of these three. Okay. And each of the, these is played that three times. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then it's A and a B. 
one, two, three, one, two, three. And that repeats throughout the entire song. How easy is that? So uh, obviously challenging if you've never done something with the left hand, never played anything. It's to that rhythm, which is so signature the notes themselves pretty easy and that should make it nice and easy to do together however if you've never played you know right hand and left hand together and this is totally new for you don't freak out what I'd try and do is make sure this right hands there first and what I would be doing is just playing the left hand just on this note first of all and focus on that rhythm and playing the right hand correct but leave this note here for now so get this Already, that is sounding really fab, and that is something because the thing is, with these smaller keyboards that we have on iPads and devices, uh, we have fewer notes available to us, but we do have that one there. Well, hey. It is something that we can actually do on, on these sorts of things, and hopefully you can see that. Uh, if I put it about there. Okay, it's something that we can put together. What we don't have is a lower note than that one, and that's what we need, and we can't play it higher up, because that is the limitations of learning on such devices, and when we've got this keyboard in front of us, we can play very, very wide octaves, okay? Um, so those left-hand notes were one, two, three, and four. And we were playing. That's where we left off, and we want to play. That, okay, so it's one, two, three. Change the left hand. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's all we do. Remember, we sometimes have that change of ending. This is a little different. I'll do it again. But because the rhythm is the same in both hands, this is a fantastic song, even if it's your first one, to play your left and right hand together. They always happen. They always happen together. That is where we will leave this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that's been a lot of fun for you. Please subscribe to this Andy Piano YouTube channel. We will have plenty of keyboard stuff, integrating the technology of iPads and things like that because they are so available. Everyone has a mobile in their pocket these days, so they're so useful, and I'm going to be using that to teach you how to get involved in music, get involved in playing piano and keyboards because it's loads of fun, and it is how pop music is written and that's these are, the, these are the sounds that we're hearing on the radio these days so let's embrace that and let's go for it and you can embrace that by subscribing to this Andy Piano YouTube channel take care of yourselves bye for now